Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, my name's Rob from RobNumphoto.com and in this little broadcast we're going to be looking at the uh, EXIF data tagging and geotagging capabilities of Google's free photo editing and organi organizing software, Picasa version 3.9. Now one of the reasons why lots of people may uh, avoid giving Pegasa a try is because they might not know you know just how powerful this fantastic little piece of software is because what we can do within Picasso is we can add tags to our photos just like you can in uh, Adobe's Lightroom and other software which you can then embed into the photo so that when you upload the f upload the photographs to places such as uh, Flickr or uh, Facebook or even just for when you're searching through your photos in the future you can use these tags, tags to find them, uh, you can use keywords and the like and you can also add latitude and longitude uh, geotagging data to your photos too so without further ado let's dive on in to Picasso 3.9 and I can show you what I'm talking about so here we go so here's some photos I took uh, last week I think these were of the Royal Marines Museum uh, in Eastney in Portsmouth and first up let's just uh, look at one photo this particular one and if we go down to the bottom right hand corner of the screen we can see the uh, different panels that we can bring up so the first one let's bring up the properties panel and this is all the EXIF data for this particular photograph so this is all the stuff like the um, camera used to take it the lens that you used to take it the focal length your aperture your shutter speed your white balance um, all that sort of stuff all the EXIF data that is baked into the raw file sorry baked into the JPEG or in the little sidecar with the with the raw file so you can see all the data there as well all the EXIF material um, very useful if you're trying to uh, decode or understand why a particular photograph came out the way it did because you can look at things like your exposure um, your shutter speed in other words or your f-stop or your ISO and you can go all right it may be the photos a bit grainy because of this or out of focus because of this or blurry because of this um, probably one of the most common problems you have with um, with photos it can often be because the white balance was wrong and you can check that out um, so that's the um, EXIF data panel but what we're really interested in is adding more tags to our particular photograph so I've just clicked on the tags panel and what we can see here is there's like a box in the top right hand corner which I can write tag names into which will then be baked into the file and down at the bottom we've got our quick tags now your quick tags are really powerful because what you can do with these is you can save particular tags um, so they'll always come up so it's easy to add them nice and fast so as you can see here we've got uh, Canon 350D Rebel XT black and white so take lots of photos like that um, I don't know let's add one let's put, add Portsmouth there we go let's say let's click on that one let's just say OK and then what we can now do is these tags here we can now just add to them um, and say okay so this po photo it was taken with my Canon 350D Rebel XT it's not a black and white it probably might be it was taken in Portsmouth so we can add that as well and then I could just write things in here as well so um, I could add Royal Marine so, and I, I could press enter now if I wanted to or if I press a comma um, that will then separate the photos Ooh, if I can spell it right museum press enter and as you can see I'm starting to populate so then I could put um, I don't know the date that it was taken uh, I can't remember what that was <laughs> uh, it was taken on the 3rd of December so I could put um, 03 12 13 put that in there like that um, and I could add as much data as I want I could put like statue um, there's a flag in the picture isn't it? so I could add flag I could put um, overcast day you know, all these sorts of things it, it's great to tag and put as much information into your photographs to enable you to as I said before for you to be able to find them at a future date so you might 
I think, in a few years' time, okay, didn't I have a photo of a statue at some point? And then you could search Picasso for statue. But also, when you've shared these photos publicly, say on Flickr, um, where, where we've embedded these uh, tags into the image, Flickr will recognize them and they'll appear in the tags on Flickr. So if people are searching for photographs uh, on the internet in general as well, um, and it matches some of these tags, that could well help them find their way to your photographs, um, which is nice for them to look at. It. But also, you know, one of the things, one of the dreams we always have is being paid for our photographs, isn't it? And you may well find some paying clients can track you down because of the good tagging um, techniques you've used in your images. So that's adding basic text tags. But what we could also add, if we look down here, there's the places panel. So let's... Um, Let's zoom out of here so you can see what we've got. And what we've got, in effect, is a version of Google Maps. There's the UK. And then what I can do is at the bottom, let me just clear this out, is we can then search. So I know I took this at the Royal Marines Museum in Portsmouth but you could put in your zip code your postcode a road name a town and bunk there we go it's found it but I could just well I could just say no yes put the photo there embed the latitude and longitude there but what I like to do is I say no cancel that let's go over to the satellite view and let's zoom in let's really really zoom in and what you can probably see here We've zoomed, zoomed in so much. That little blob there with that shadow, that is the statue. And I stood about there to take the photograph. So if we pick up the little marker, I can put that there. And that is exactly where I was standing when I took that photograph. How amazing is that? Now, you could do a similar thing if your camera had an embedded uh, GPS receiver and it would uh, embed the latitude and longitude. The problem with often with they're embedded receivers is that they really drain your battery quite fast um, or you could use your phone or a different gadget to record your GPS position as you're wandering around and then sync uh, your photos against that particular file but it's a little bit long-winded this way um, enables you to really accurately place your photographs as long as you know roughly the area where you were you know you can find that because obviously you know, if you haven't got a clue where you were, then it can be difficult. But because of the sheer detail you get in Google Maps now, the fact you can zoom in so far and look at the hybrid view, um, it means that you can really do an amazing job of geotagging your photos with exactly where you took them. Now, the final panel is the people panel. And as you can see, it's recognized the fact that there's a face in this, even though it's a statue. And if it had a person in it that I wanted tagged, I could then put their name in. And, but we, I'll leave that for a later broadcast. So you may well say, well, that's brilliant, Rob. You know, I can add tags. I can add latitude and longitude. I can add geotagging data to my photos. And I can look at the EXIF data. But wait a minute, you know, maybe um, you're on a photo shoot and you've taken 10, 20, 30, 40, 100 different photographs that you want to tag. Well, you can do that too. And all you've got to do is just select the photos you want to tag. So let me just move down until, I don't know, let's go somewhere like here. So what I'll do with these, this series of images, with, with Picasso, you kind of have your main library here of the, of the folder you're looking at. And at the bottom left-hand corner, there's something called the tray. So as I press and click on photos in the middle they get added to the tray so if I control click all these photos are going to get added to the tray like so so what I can now do is if I now bring up the tags panel I can now add to all of these photos at the same time the tags I want to add so let's put my common ones Canon 350D Rebel XT these photos were taken in Portsmouth um, and um, excuse me, I'll just have a quick drink. Ah, I'm coming down with a bit of a cold, a bit of a sore throat too. So I can now put, um, they were taken in Eastney. Uh, they were taken near the harbour. Um, there's lots of boats in each picture, so I can add that. You know, and again, you would just add as much information that was common to all of these photos as possible. And in this way, you can... Uh, tag you know 
a whole load of photos. Say you were doing a photo shoot o over one day, you could select all the photos to start off with, and maybe put the date and the time and the, and the camera in, the, in them, and then maybe half the photos were taken in one place, so you would then select them and add that data. Or then you could go to each individual photo and add the data there. So we've added some common uh, tags to all of those photos, but we can also geotag them all in the same place as well, because you may well not want to go down to you know such a detail. You might just want to put a general geotag in there. So I know these were taken. Uh, in fact, let's see if I can find it. it they were taken at the ha near the Hailing Island Ferry, uh, Portsmouth. Now I've got no idea if it will find this or not. Let's see. Hey, there we go. Now, what it's done, actually, I don't want to put it there. If we zoom in a bit, what it's actually done, it's found the Hailing Island Ferry, but it's on the other side. It's found it on Hailing Island side, where I actually want to be on the Portsmouth side, which is there. So this is where I took of those photos. What, so what I can do now is I could select each individual photo, but they're all roughly taken in the same place. So I just take the tag, dump it down there, place six photos here, and I can now say... OK, so all those photos down there on the bottom left in the tray are now geotagged. So if those photos are uploaded to uh, Flickr, um, Flickr will recognize the fact that there's latitude and longitude information and uh, display them on your map. Or if you upload the photos to like Panoramio, um, that will then recognize the fact that they're in a particular place. And you may even see them appear on Google Earth. So how cool is that? What, we've, what I've showed you today. Um, is the uh, very simple way that you can add um, tags, um, metadata, if you like, to your photos using Picasa. You can add geotagging, so you can add latitude and longitude data to your to your photos, and also you can view all the EXIF data for your uh, photography too. So, hopefully, with this series of videos, I've really showed you how powerful. Picasso version 3.9, uh, the free photo editing software from Google, can really be. And if you haven't given it a go, haven't given it a try out, please go do a quick Google search, download Picasso, download it, and you may well find that it uh, helps to really increase this, the ease and the efficiency of your photographic workflow. I know personally for me, I started using Picasso because I needed something that would work on an older laptop. Um, but even now, now I've got a faster newer laptop, I find Picasso is really the uh, photo editing and organizing uh, software of choice for me. Well, that's it. My name's Rob from RobLonFo.com. Thanks for watching.